Node-RED is a flow-based programming tool. Flow-based programming has been around since the 1970s and Node-RED itself was developed in early 2013 by Nico Leary and Dave Conway-Jones. By September 2013, it was open sourced and this is why we have such an amazing product like Node-RED available for us to use without having to pay a single penny. Let's jump into Node-RED and see what it looks like. You're going to need to know your IP address from the server that you built during episode 11 and you need to put colon 1880 at the end. Node-RED works off the port 1880. And if you installed everything correctly in episode 11, then this is what you will see. The Node-RED interface has three core components. On the left hand side is the palette which contains all of the nodes that can be used within a flow. The center part is where you're actually going to create the flow. On the right hand side is your sidebar and that is a panel that contains some useful tools that you can use within the editor. Let's create a basic flow so we can see Node-RED in action and you can get an idea of just how easy this is to use. On the left hand side in the palette, we can see all these different nodes and we'll look at the ones at the top here underneath common. We're gonna use the inject node. So I'm gonna click on that, drag it over to the flow and let it go. We're also gonna use a debug node. So I'm gonna click on that, drag it across and let it go. And there we go, we have created a flow. Although this flow at the moment is not doing much, it still is a flow. To be able to deploy this, in other words, to compile it and make it usable, you would click on this button at the very top on the right called deploy. Anytime you make changes to a flow or create a flow or make any sort of modifications, you have to go and deploy it again, else it will not work. So we'll click on deploy and this flow is now active. It is not gonna do anything because I haven't actually set it up properly, but this flow is active. I can go and click on that and we can see there successfully injected timestamp, but it's not, centered anywhere because these two nodes are not actually connected. To connect them, it is as simple as click on that little gray box, drag across to this little gray box, and now we are able to inject the timestamp into the message payload debug node. Let's deploy this so that we can actually see what this does. We need to click on the button at the top there, deploy, it is successfully deployed. Now, when I click on that, it has now injected that timestamp into the debug node. To be able to see what that looks like, we can click up here onto the little bug icon, and we can see that there is the timestamp that has been sent across. And if I click on this again, we can see that it sends another timestamp, and you can do that as many times as you want. Let's send something a little bit different. How about sending hello world? All that you need to do is double click on the node, and we can see here what has been sent, what is the payload. At this time, it is the timestamp, but let's change it to a string. And we're gonna type in, hello world. Now, of course, if I click on that, it's not gonna do anything because there are undeployed changes. So make sure you go up to the top again, click deploy. It has now compiled it and deployed it. And that means I can click on this. And on the right-hand side, you can see it says, hello world. How about if we want to put the words hello world onto a web page rather than showing it inside a debug node like we're looking at here. To do that, we're going to need to install some very useful nodes called the dashboard nodes. To do that's pretty straightforward and make sure you do do this because the rest of the projects that we're going to be working on through the series is going to rely on you having those dashboard nodes. If you go to the top right, the little hamburger icon, drop that down and click on Manage Palette. If you go to Install, search for Dashboard, and you'll see their Node-RED Dashboard. Click on Install, click Install, and that should be pretty much it. Let's go have a look at our new nodes that we've just installed. If we scroll down to the bottom, we'll see that we have a bunch of new nodes that we can choose from. Let's take the text node and drag that onto the screen and connect up the inject node to the text node. And that's pretty much it. Hello world will now be sent across to this text node. This text node is part of the dashboard and I'll show you that in just a second. But we can see that there is a small red triangle there, which means that there's something that needs to be addressed on this specific node. 
So to address the problem, let's double click on it and we can see that we have a red outline around the group. So the way that the dashboard works is you have multiple tabs and within each of those tabs, there are various groups. So we need to create a new group. But before we can add a group, we need to also add a tab so that that group can be part of that tab. To do that, we need to click on the pen icon again and that'll allow us to then add a tab and give it a name. So I'm gonna call this one test because we're gonna delete it later anyway. And we're gonna leave the icon as dashboard and everything else is enabled and visible. So once we've added this, this will give us a tab and we are then going to be adding a group which we have just left as default group. And we can see that the group that's been selected for this specific node is default, which is part of the test tab. So if I click done, deploy, it's successfully deployed. Now, how do I go and see it? We're gonna need to create a new tab and we go to the same IP address. So 192.168.0.205, this is my IP address. So make sure that you're using the correct one for yourself. And then 1880 slash UI. And there is our first dashboard. It is pretty straightforward. It is pretty simplistic looking right now, but it can look very complex and very useful as we add new elements to it. Let's make a few changes so we can see how it affects what we see on the dashboard. The first thing we'll do is change the label for this hello world text. And we'll call that, let's call that some text. And we'll click done and I'll deploy it. And instantly it will show over here as some text and then the words hello world. How about if we wanna dynamically change hello world to something else? Let's go back here and instead of the injection coming in over here, which is static, let's create a button. So this button here, we're going to click on that line there. So we're no longer gonna have these two nodes connected. We're gonna click on that line so it's highlighted. Press delete, it is gone. We're gonna take this and connect that to some text. Double click on button and where we got the payload. Over here we got the payload and we can change that to, let's say goodbye world. It's a bit morbid, but let's do that and deploy it. Now what we'll see over here is there's a button that's been created. Right now the text is still hello world because that was what was sent before. But if I click on this button, we can see that has changed that text to goodbye world. How about if we wanna change the look and feel of the dashboard? That is also very easy to do. And what we do is we go back to node red. If we look over here, we can see there's a new icon dashboard that's been created when we installed the node red dashboard. So if we click on that, we can see that it changes to the layout and the site, we can give it name, we can do quite a few interesting things here. And I'll go into that into more detail in a future video. But let's change the look and feel for now, just the color system. The style at the moment is light. How about if we want to change it to dark? So let's see what that does. Straight away, it looks a little bit different. We've got black instead of white background. But I still don't like that blue. Let's change that. So we can see here, I can very easily go in and I want a nice red. I want to change the font. Let me make it make it Verdana and deploy. And there we go. I hope that this introduction to Node Red has been useful for you and that it gives you an idea of the possibilities of what's to come. No matter what your skill level is right now, by the end of the series, you'll be able to create some complex interactive user interfaces using this product. So until then, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and stay spicy.